Hello and welcome to the Stamp Camp. I'm Glenda Calkins, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And today for Tuesday's tips and techniques, I have a double tip and technique for you. It is the comb flower created using the daisy punch as well as using the wobbles that I showcased on Valentine's Day for Sophia's little doggy Belle. I'm going to show you how to use the wobbles. So let's get started. All right, this is the card we're going to create. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but it is very shimmery and shiny. There you can see. Ooh, yeah. And we're going to do that as well. But here is the wobble. It's the little bee wobbling. So I'm going to show you that, and I'm going to show you how to take the daisy flower, uh, daisy punch, this right here, to create these cone flowers with this very little fuzzy top. So let's get started. We're going to start with our card base is Whisper White, four and a quarter by eleven, and we're going to fold that in half. And we're going to set that aside. And we have a Daffodil Delight mat. And then the front of our card is the Whisper White again. We're going to take the Old Olive ink. And we're going to take the Daisy Lane stamp set. We're going to take this stem right here. Grab a block. And we're going to stamp. Ooh, I really went light touch. I'm going to stamp two of our stems for our daisies. Now I went a little close on my card. I think I'm going to separate them a little bit more on this one. And now we're going to create our daisy our cone flowers, I should say. We're gonna take the larger daisy punch. The medium sized one is the one that comes in the bundle with the daisy lane stamp set. So we're gonna need two of these. And then what I did was I cut them in half. And then we're going to attach them. And then when you attach them, just fan them out a little bit like that. Do that to both of them, just like that. Then we're going to add some depth to them by taking the sponge, and I have the Crush Curry. You could do the Daffodil Delight as well, but I'm going to just sponge over the top. as little or as much as you like. This one kind of moved a little bit. And we're gonna leave it. Then I took a punch and we're gonna apply that to the tops to get our cone. And that is our soft suede stack so there these are going to go up I don't know if you're familiar with those cone flowers but they're like a daisy but they have the top sticking out kind of like that way cool and then I use the little puff balls. These are for the perennial 
Essence Floral Centers. And they're perfect for these daisies. They got that little puff center and they have a little adhesive back. So just peel that off and stick them right over. And it's kind of nice to have that soft suede showing a little bit around it. I think they are the perfect cone flower. You could do these in other colors too. So if you prefer or you like like pinks or any of those other colors, feel free to do that. I am going to pop those up. Oops, just about put that the wrong way. So just like that. Like that. I'm going to stamp my little sentiment. You can choose not to put a sentiment on. It's totally up to you. Make sure that my paper is straight. Just a little hello, a little something. Now I'm going to do the B, and that is from the Honey Bee stamp set. I've already went ahead and stamped and die cut him out. I'm just going to take my Daffodil Delight Dark and color him in a bit. Just like that. And now we're going to make him wobble. So these are on my blog. I got them from Amazon. They're a little spring and they have adhesive on both sides. So how I do it, and I'm not sure if that's the right way or not, but the solid, I mean, it works for me. This is going to give you a strong base. I'm going to take the other side and do that first, I guess. There are little slits. Maybe if I had my glasses on, I'd be able to see them better to peel that off. Then you're going to take that and attach it to your B the best way. I think that looks pretty good. You kind of see it a little bit. I think maybe I want the other direction on my card sample. And then you're going to put your B on your card. And he's going to wobble isn't that cool so the next thing that i did because i wanted that sparkle and shine is i have the stampin spritzer and i put about this much alcohol in and maybe about three drops of the shimmer paint and then we're going to just Spray, oops, spray this whole front. And it is alcohol, so it will dry quite quick. I'm not sure if you can, yeah, yeah, see that shimmer? Uh, isn't that pretty? I love that. I don't know if I want more in this corner. So you're going to have to let that dry a bit. And it should flatten out a little bit more once it's fully dry. Then what you're going to do is take the natural twine and wrap it around about three times and tie a knot. And I put a glue dot so I knew right where my bow knot was going to be. And then just attach it to your card front. So that is our cone flower. 
as well as our wobble. And these you can lift up a little bit to give them more lift and life like. But that is your tip and technique for today. Again, the Amazon code is on my blog for the wobbles. It's kind of fun and the kids like them. Something different on your card. But if you like what you've seen today, make sure to like, share, and comment. I appreciate that so much. If you need any supplies, please go to my blog, www.thestampcamp.com. This is the hostess code for February. That's it for today. Thanks for stopping by.